Hands up. Long time no see. It's been a damn long time since I video blog last time, so lots of stuff to talk about, lots of stuff to BS, and uh, let's get to it. Uh, first thing is, um, I did want to give a shout out to Bambucha88, I think his online name is. Um, I was playing the WQ, no, not WQ, it was Microstakes main event. And uh, yeah, one guy at the table, uh, I, I'm pretty sure his name is Bambucha88, uh, told me that he really liked my video blogs and uh, he was looking forward to my next one. And quite honestly, it made me feel damn good. And uh, thank you very much if you're listening to this or watching it. Um, I really appreciate it. Any feedback, especially positive feedback, is great feedback, so thanks a lot. Alright, so there's some kind of bad news, so let's get that stuff out of the way. Um, Feldstar is currently down. Um, I do not know the exact issues and the exact circumstances. I have some information and uh, mainly what, what I've been told is that there's some issue between Merge and Feldstars. Um, I don't want to go into much more detail because anything I would say would be basically speculation. I don't want to do that. What I have been told is that our funds are safe and that our funds are, are being held by Merge so you sh shouldn't have be worried about your funds and at this point I think you have the option to transfer your funds from Pelstars to some other merge skin although I don't know how that works or if that works I'll provide you with more information as soon as I have that. Alright let's get to the good news let's leave all the bad stuff out of the way. Um, I just come from winning the Winner Knox Major um, that was a two day tournament and quite honestly, when the tournament suddenly stopped on Sunday night, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, I was, I was kind of pissed the tournament didn't, didn't continue and I was pretty upset now I had to play Monday too because I, I for the most part, never play Mondays because after Sunday I either want money and feel happy that I don't have to play or I either lost so much money that I feel happy that I don't have to play. So whatever the result is, I never play Mondays. <laughs> The next big news is that I'm going to be moving to Mexico. I'm now on a tacos only diet and don't eat any pizza anymore, so I guess that's kind of living healthy. <laughs> no, all jokes aside, uh, I fell in love here and um, yeah, there isn't much, uh, much else to say. I mean, and since then I'm here and I just love it here. It's, it's great. Actually, what you see here is my new apartment. I even already have an apartment and uh, maybe I'll give, give you a tour at some point but right now we have a bit more interesting stuff to talk about so I'll, I'll, I'll skip this uh, yeah, little tour in my apartment for now. Also guys, I did want to introduce you to my new best friend, <laughs> my girlfriend's dog. <laughs> I love that creature, seriously, look at him, adorable. I've also been doing recordings on deep runs of mine. Um, I have a recording, I think, from a party poker deep run, and I have a recording from the W Coop main event. By the way, yeah, I had a pretty deep run there. Um, kind of, kind of funny because uh, <laughs> I had basically on the second day I had no hands. I was all in a bunch of times, shoving with all sorts of crap hands, and the one time I get a real hand meaning jacks, I shove and some guy has kings. I was just like, no, seriously, all day I shove with random crap and nobody even calls it like ace 10 and now somebody has kings, what the fuck is this? But yeah, anyway, so that, that was kind of sad. Um, I want to show you the recordings I have from Winamux. Unfortunately though, Winamux at some point decided to cut out the brakes meaning most of my recordings I do are doing breaks because I don't want to be recording myself while playing because yeah I want to focus and so I only have I think two or three recordings but uh, yeah I'll attach them to the end and maybe get a kick out of that alright guys I hope to, you like this video blog subscribe, like it, comment, whatever tell me at the table, just give me some love Hey guys, what's up? 
welcome to my deep run at Winamax. Uh, currently there are 60 players left. I am pretty much in the middle of the field with 420k, blinds are 6k, 12k. And I am damn happy you only see my face. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be comfortable here so uh, nobody needs to see me or whatever I wear when I play poker, so I might as well be sitting here in my underwear. <laughs> Alright, we managed to get to another break, uh, actually fairly successfully and somewhat lucky I guess. Uh, I have 1.8 million and then something like 2 out of 30 in chips, so that's pretty good. Uh, I guess we can start looking at first place. I'm here at the Winamax final table. Um, I got 7.6 million, uh, I'm 1 out of 9, and second place got 4 million, average is 2.8 million, so I guess I dare to say I'm kind of like runaway chip leader at this stage, which is pretty nice. Um, honestly, didn't play too many crazy hands, um, bluff catched ones with jacks, yeah. That's pretty much it, and nothing too interesting, to be honest. Uh, I, I've been playing as nitty as, as humanly possible, and people are still calling my three bets. What am I gonna do? I mean, <laughs> just wait for hands and, and play my hands. So, yeah. Uh, my strategy right now at this final table is probably continue just as I have, although I have noticed people are a bit tighter at this stage, so I'll probably. Yeah, loosen up quite a bit uh, in an orbit or two, but uh, yeah, right now I, I want to pretend that I play nitty, so let's pretend for a bit. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, <laughs> I just won the Winamax major. Woo <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was kind of an interesting tournament to be honest. I had loads of chips the entire time till we were three handed. I was massive chip leader at least twice second since like final two tables so I was really I mean I was definitely running good but I mean I was playing fairly tired and people were still shoving on me playing back at me and not believing me so what am I gonna do I mean if I if I have a very strong range it's kinda hard to play against that and you probably should just be folding and uh, yeah it was it was pretty cool because I basically always had it <laughs> and, or at least it looked like that and uh, people were just folding a shitload and and getting it in when they shouldn't have, it was strange dynamic. So anyway, three-handed, I, I end up with two fairly aggressive players, in my opinion a bit too overly aggressive, but um, yeah, I would obviously prefer to just grind them down, but they played really good and really aggro, and uh, I, I got actually short stacked at some point, but managed to fight back, and then heads up, I got to, I don't know, to like 3 million or so down from like 23 in play, and then managed to suck out with ace deuce against sixes and from then on just played and played and played and small pots and I, I realized that the guy was value betting too thin so I was actually fake pot controlling with top of my range all the time I mean I guess slow playing is more the appropriate word here <laughs> so I was just yeah slow playing everything top pair and he was value betting himself to death with all sorts of hands mm, what can I do I mean yeah, <laughs> it was was pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then last hand he uh, I three bet and he piles in forty blinds with threes. I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> so yeah, I had ace king and I mean it, it kind of sucked that he actually had threes. I was hoping he had like, ace queen or ace jack, but yeah, I, I won that. So oh, it's nice. Um, yeah, hopefully this actually turns out into a somewhat useful video blog. Um, the hands I played were. I mean, some of them I'm, I'm damn proud of the way I played them, like turning pairs into bluffs when, when needed and realizing when people were badly betting too thin and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a great tournament and I felt, I felt really good. So yeah, <laughs> see you guys.